you've actually changed this for me. There was this, there was this little thing I, I, I found handy. A little, a Mackie to the, it was so little that it, it just it wasn't worth a full 58 keys, I thought. But then also it was so handy, why not? I could just show you this thing. 30 seconds later, we're done. Except I've been using this tiny thing so often and for so long that I couldn't remember how you set it up. I couldn't remember what it cost or anything like that. And as soon as I looked into that, so I could tell you, I found so much more, which I am now using. So much more useful for me. I hope it's useful for you too. You have changed how I use a tiny little Mac utility called text soap. And if I was keen on this before, well, I am an evangelist now. Let me tell you every detail about it. Hello, I'm William Gallagher, and this is 58 Keys, which is ever, as always, it's for writers like you and me who use and who write on Macs and iPhones and iPads. Uh, do subscribe because, well, you know, there's just, there's always so much to talk about in this, isn't there? And it puts off writing every time. Um, there's actually, it turns out there's a lot to talk about even when I don't think there is, like now. Tech soap. You write whatever you write, and you write it in whatever word processor, text editor, anything that you like, and then tech soap cleans it up. That's a bit, that's a bit too broad of a word. Cleans it up. Tech soap is broad. I tell you what, let me show you the thing that I use it for perhaps 20 times a week at least. Here's a text from uh, a recent blog. Every Friday I write a, a writing blog called Self Distract, and it doesn't usually have so many links in it, but let's pretend that it does. Let's whack all of those in. I've now got there all of those links, and that, that's great for online. It's rubbish. If I want to put the text from that blog into a book, you have to go through and remove things. Okay. So I select everything with Command A, and then I, I set this up. I press Control Shift H. Uh, don't blame me if that's weird, yeah, yeah, right. or if it cramps up your fingers, but works for me. I press those keys and look, look what it did. All of the links removed immediately. Now, I'm, I'm not actually making a book from my self distract blog, so I'm not usually stripping out the links from an entire piece like this, but there is one client I have where for this part of their site, this part over here, say, I am required to find and to include a link. But for this other part of the site, the same text has to go in without any links. So write the text, put the link in, control shift H, done. Over and over again. Done actually without thinking, which is part of the problem, part of the reasons I forget to tell you about it. Actually, let me come back to this, because it turns out that thinking about it for just a second made what you just saw better. First though, if I use this feature so often, well, there's also this. You're a writer, you know uh, this is how quotation or speech marks should be. They should be 66 and 99. But a lot of websites, well, they choke on that. I write for websites using an app called Drafts 5, which either by default or because I set it up so long ago, I can't remember, it doesn't use the 66 and 99s. It doesn't use what tends to get called smart quotes they're not smart quotes they're sensible or they're quotes uh it drafts and others use thing called dumb quotes i'm in england where um another word for dumb or stupid is is thick uh it, it's short for the phrase thick is too short planks and i'm not honestly sure knowing where it comes from even helps clarify it in the slightest but thick Somebody is thick. I am thick. Anyway. Um, when I was at the BBC uh, working on various things there, this smart quote thing it was a huge problem back then because was, websites were still reasonably new. Everyone wrote everything in Microsoft Word. And I made my own Word macro that took out all of these smart quotes. Uh, any smart quote in an article changed all of them into these, these dumb quotes. It made the quotes dumb. It made them thick. I call this macro Thickify, and for at least five years, it was installed on every BBC Worldwide writer's copy of Word. You'd hear managers saying, you must Thickify this text. I'm so proud of that. And actually, Thickify was rubbish compared to text soap. Today, well, you just, you don't write in Word for the web if you can help it, but even in something like uh, drafts, say you paste something in from somewhere, and then that does include smart quotes, 
it comes drafts actually has a tool for straightening out those uh but it's not not the best part of drafts much as i love drafts so it's a bit rubbish this in this bit compared to text so maybe i'm just doing it wrong but you put some uh, text into drafts with these smart quotes and there's a button to straighten them but it's like it only straightens the next one and i have to keep doing it over and over to the next yeah with text so all the text done one go and actually that's enough that would be enough for me that would be worth using text soap for but as i'm learning this week there's just there's so much more things uh, i can definitely i'm, I'm now using because of you things i don't frankly understand things i'm never going to touch ever if i just paste in all of that self-destruct blog into text soap's own window well, I can nip down and I can select the option, which is called extract text from HTML source and click it does it. it. That's what removes all of the links. But with the same text in the same place, I could capitalize common tech names. Yeah, rush to do that. Look, I'm a writer. You're a writer. We know from capital letters. I'm not E.E. E. Cummings. I am never going to write in all lowercase. And if I were that poet, well, I wouldn't write in lowercase and then later change my mind. But, you know, for some people, it's here. Capitalize common tech names, capitalize with title case, whatever. It's all there. And, and if it's useful to you, it's useful. But yeah, words. Enough now. Um, uppercase, though. Yeah, I can see that in some places. Headlines, maybe. Change everything to uppercase. You can do this in pages and things, but... Mm. Also, actually, uppercase, you know, the uppercase is harder to read than mixed case because the letters, the words become kind of squared off and our eyes have to kind of translate each letter. Where with a mixed case, or, where our eyes and our brains, we tend to see the, the shape of a whole word, a word at once and, and we kind of get it. So it's much faster to read. Anyway, uppercase, all uppercase could be good. Lowercase, again, E. e. Cummings light. Didn't Patty Smith write a book once in all lowercase with no punctuation not 100 percent sure you can actually call that a book pretty sure you can only call it unreadable uh there doesn't appear to be an unreadable option in text so that's kind of down to us we would do that but there is re-wrap re -wrap text and that's one i don't fully understand i mean i know what wrapping text is for the column you i mean and you've just seen it do it that's what it does but I don't know how you tell it where you want the wrapping, how wide or narrow the column is to be, but it's there and useful. Oh, whereas, smart and quotes, I'm having that. If I ever did make a book out of my blog, and actually I would do that by copying from the blog, wouldn't I, and pasting into pages. Well, you've seen this. When you copy and paste, you get the text, and hopefully with smart quotes, but you can also get a lot of junk along the way. And TechSoap can remove that. It can remove unwanted returns there. It can take out unwanted tabs. It can do all of that. Um, last one, no, last two, they're, they're kind of a pair. If you wanted to send someone some quoted text in an email, well, you, you can just forward the email, can't you? But you can also do it in TechSoap. And more often for me anyway, what I want to do is take forwarded text out of an email and use it. And now I can with a tap. Um, just quickly, I, I said that uh, looking into this to show you uh, what I do led me to change what I do. It added a lot, really. One key change, though, really gorgeous changes. I, I still have that command shift H keystroke to remove all of the HTML links that I have to keep doing over and over. But I originally made that keyboard shortcut in keyboard maestro a totally separate app gorgeous totally separate app i'd select some text do that keystroke keyboard maestro would see the keystroke know to copy the text send it to text soap do the doings send it back fine but that is a round trip between a couple of apps no three what i'm writing in uh text soap and keyboard maestro and sometimes who knows why something would go wrong somewhere it, and it would always take a moment but if it went wrong i'd kind of have to do it again i think so looking into it again now years and years after i started using text soap i found that uh, maybe this is new there's a free text soap agent it's called you download this to your mac you set it up which did take me a time to understand but now with it running i can use that extract text from html source 
using the same keyboard shortcut of mine that's now built into my muscle memory, but it goes straight to text soap. And more than that, it does the extracting, it looks like it does the extracting text thing right there within the writing app, whichever writing app I'm working in. And that has proved so much faster that actually I've been looking to see what else I can do along the way. Along the way. Uh, nothing for me is going to be quite as useful, I think, as that link removal. But for example, I've now made the straighten quotes thing be a couple of keystrokes away. Um, I can see too that I will also use that unquote thing from time to time. And if it's not going to be often, well, I now know it's there in TechSoap whenever I do want to use it. TechSoap is an application for the Mac that costs $50. And as I, actually as I write this around July, August time, it's, uh, it's on sale, but only reduced to 45. That gets you the app for two Macs. So I have it on my Mac mini and I have it on my MacBook Pro, for instance. Alternatively, you can get TechSoap as part of Setup, the, um, the subscription app service. Um, for a certain fee per month, kind of starting around, around $10, you get TechSoap and something like 200 more apps. There is actually a 58 keys edition all about setup and I will, I'll do the thing of linking to it below. Um, there isn't a tech soap for iPhone and iPad, by the way, but there is a kind of equivalent. And again, actually, I'm using it more now because of you, because I want to find the equivalent and there it was. But let's call that a story for another day. Actually, story for another day. In other words, please watch out for a 58 keys episode, hopefully a short one, about an iOS and iPadOS app called Text Case. Actually, it's also on the Mac, I've just learned. It's on the Mac as well, Text Case. It is substantially cheaper than Text Soap, but it isn't as good. There are some problems. Um, when that episode of 58 Keys is done, it also will be linked below. But for now, Text Soap, yes. Thank you very much for watching this edition of 58 Keys. Now take care of yourself, eh? write more, and I'll see you soon.